bit of thing. If you ain't got that swing, he's got a blue. Now he's got his rhythm. A blue for Blue Watch. Two points. It's so you think you can dance. The brand new series is back with a vengeance. So you think you can dance. Tonight today on Living. to our physically agonizing eliminator. This is sudden death, ladies and gentlemen. As you know, whoever wins this will earn a place on our leaderboard. Karen's ahead by three points. Remember, each point is worth half a second, so therefore Karen gets a one and a half second head start. Well, Jenny, you've got a little tiny disadvantage. Yeah. You've, se you've seen the American Gladiators. What do you think of this one? Well, it looked easy on TV, but honestly, trying it out is very, very hard. Well, we wish you all the best. Thank you very much. Well, Karen, this is as close as we get on gladiators to show jumping courses. This one, you're going to have to ride on your own without Monty, your horse. How are you going to do? Well, I intend to hang in there and not fall off. Well, I think that's simple enough, isn't it? I'll let you and Jenny get on with uh, getting prepared for the eliminator. In the meantime, I'll hand you back to John Sachs. Thanks, Ulrika. Here are the nine obstacles Karen and Jenny will negotiate. It's 20 feet up the cargo net, then over, down the slide using your front or back, Nine feet of scramble sheet across the overhead traverse. Should a contender fall, there's a 10 seconds penalty. Bit of a twist, the rolling beams, they can send a contender flying in a number of directions. And it's onto our second cargo net, up to the platform. Then it's a white knuckle ride down the zip line, 90 feet onto the crash mat. Take a sharp left, a punishing scramble up the awesome travelator, then grab the rope through the paper burst and home free for a place on the leaderboard and a winner's medal. Contenders, ready! Karen, you will start on my first whistle. Jenny, you will start on my second whistle. Three, two, one! Well, there's not much in it. Karen's three-point lead gives her one and a half second start time, but Jenny eating into that from the off. The Eliminator will stretch them to the limit drawing on every ounce of their stamina and chutzpah. But it's Jenny who goes down the slide first, closely followed by Karen. And Jenny attacks the overhead ladder, a very demanding obstacle, requiring great upper body strength. And it's neck and neck as they attack the rolling beam. This one's going right down to the line, and I wouldn't like to put money on this one. Gonna reach the platform together. This is almost like synchronized eliminator. And Jenny pushing Karen out of the way. Get out of my way, she says. Eager to get to that zip line. She gets away first. Closely followed by a face full of map there. This couldn't be more exciting. Now it's literally the first one up that travelator. And look at Jenny go. Great aggression. Grabs the rope first. Followed by Karen, a split second later, no photo finish, but ever so close. Fast time, 1 minute 13 seconds, jumping for joy. And look at the replay, see how she powers up that tabulator. Jenny joins Nicola Borden on the leaderboard with 22 points. Congratulations, congratulations, how do you feel? I can't think, I feel great. Thank you. Congratulations, you deserve that. It was a great contest. Brilliant contest and brilliant person. Great stuff. Karen, you didn't quite make it. No, that's right. It's really tough. But I just want to say thanks to all my trainers for this, to my boyfriend Mark, I wouldn't be if it wasn't for him, and to Dennis and Derek who helped me train. Well done, Karen. Well done. Well, I didn't get a cuddle from Willie. Great contenders, it was close all the way. Now, in the men's, Tracy is six points in the lead. He gets half a second start for each point, which means those six points give him a three-second head start over Ludwig. Contenders, ready! On my first whistle, Tracy will go. On my second whistle, Ludwig will go. Three, two, one! Well, if Ludwig can take on the shadow, he can take on anything. But then as a firefighter, bravery and courage are everyday words in his vocabulary. Tracy will be down first. 
He's got to get up the scramble sheet and onto that overhead bike, closely followed by Ludwig. Tracy giving it some, but look at Ludwig pump that handbike at last an obstacle that suits his body weight. Tracy carrying.